Okay, back here on the safe soldier. Let's have a look at the airfix. British 8th Army in the desert. The artwork is gets good, not uh, really good, but uh, well, it's a bit bit boring. They're running background, some uh, smoke and fire. Well, it's good, but you know, average. So, excite. They use Humbro, we don't use Humbro, we don't Revel, of course. And here the uh, painting guide from the figures, many poses. 14 pieces, the actual size, and yeah, it's a nice box, but uh, not so uh, super tall. Okay, let's look at the, um, at the figures himself. Let's take this one. Uh, they're really good. They're a little bit uh, hmm, easy. I don't know. They they got not much uh, uh, accessories or something. So they're really uh, yeah yeah simple. This one I like is all good. Of course the machine uh, normal poses. I got three of them. There's many. Yeah, three. And uh, two of those, these one, those ones. Yeah, this is good, but yeah, this one I like better. Standing, if you pay your need. Easy to paint. Two days you get them off, you get them painted. Two of these. The standing soldier, of course. Yeah, nice. And two of these lying down figure. A great machine gun. And of course the a sitting, sitting sniper scheisse. Hmm. Okay, let's look a little bit closer. And uh, you can see they're, they're nice, but mm, they're simple, simple models from Airfix re-releases from the 70s. The matchbox figures, I think they're, of, I think they're really better. But for this money. I spend uh, a little bit around uh, 7 euros and when I'm a year ago or something and now there are 10 euros here in the shops some uh, all those kind of figures from these boxes alright uh, airfix 8th army British 8th army uh, leave a comment or something um, well uh, look for them they're, they're nice okay boy